What is this? Blah 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 blah. I'm better than both of you on both of your champs plus higher CS plus better LP plus gains plus higher winning plus better KD plus I'm a vain OTP plus I'm attracted to men. Two masters took us flaming each other for being master. Yo, but though, I like inherently, like, why is he cancer adding me perma, bro? Like, he's like adding me, he's like, yo, bro, I'm 30 LP higher than you. Like, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're legit flaming each other. Well, I'm not flaming him for being master, though. I flamed him for everything but be master. I just said that I don't think he's a challenger player. That's how all the drama started in the first place. Cause he got offended that I didn't think he's a challenger player. And then remember we made the bet of one thousand dollars and he paid me one thousand dollars. So now that he got like higher LP, like thirty higher LP than me, he was like, "Yo, I'ma at you on Twitter seventeen times." Nah, but I'm still gonna end season challenger. That's the only thing that matters. Oh yeah, what is L nine? Yo, bat little little bat babies. What if I told you the leader of L9 himself is in the chat? Like the, the L9 mafia gang leader. This this rat RL guy, he he had like seven like there was like a mafia of people. Actually, you know what? I can bat look at this. Hold on. Look what I'll show you. We can actually watch L9 documentary by Doinal. Oh my, by Dwayne Hacker himself explaining what is L9. What is L9? This question is one that many have asked, but few know the real answer to. Uh huh. Some think it was simply a group of high. You know how that video was made? Bro, I, I watched this. He was like, yo, some people told me this, and I interviewed some people. Like, I can guarantee you, he just made that shit up. He just Googled what is L9. He's like, oh, this dude. This is good. I like playing with this dude. Hi, Elo friend. I fanboy messaged him and he believed all of it and made a <laughs> Others I wanna it watch this. just a catchphrase that people use after they grieve games. Few know the truth. Few only know the truth. It is more than a word. It is a story of friendship, betrayal, growth, and decay. And the decay. This is the story of L9. <laughs> Our journey begins in season 5. At the time, anyone who wanted to buy boosts or scripts would either do so through a website or order them privately through mediums such as- Oh, wasn't like scripts not even around in season 5 though? Or was there- Communities started to form within the league scene. Even though the initial purpose of these circles was business related, I As time it? went on, oh, I constant know. interactions between the same I started playing in season 7, I don't know you guys fucking season 0 players. The Skype groups became more than just a place to advertise, and became a sort of high elo fraternity. <laughs> it was during these Skype days that the core members of L9, Rat IRL, Obsessed, Rat IRL, Apocalypse, Obsessed, and Selfmade, all self came to know and become friends with one another. Mm -hmm. For the most part, the talk remained league related, flexing high win rate accounts, Trying to snipe pro players on stream and putting players on int lists was a daily occurrence. As Who is this, by the way? I've never seen this in my life. Someone on. Wait. I've never seen this in my life. Potential act to borrow shit at the game. Whatever. Someone on. I don't even know what that is. To become more prevalent within these groups, I went from occasionally posting racist memes to finding the IP addresses of players they didn't like and DDoSing them. Doxing was also occasionally done, and uh -huh. if you antagonize the wrong person, your full name and address would end up on a website. What website? This continued throughout the rest of Season 5 and the beginning part of Season 6, oh, up until the that. introduction of clubs to the league clients. For the first time, players had more than just their friends' lists as a way to interact with others. <gasps> Rider Rell and Obsessed saw this as a way to create a club whose sole purpose would be to troll other players. Hey, Since it was so Hansen, rarely done, thank you, sniping famous streamers or professional players and griefing was an easy pathway to becoming well-known and gaining followers on apps like Twitter. <laughs> after trying for hours to find a club tag that could be used for their group, Obsessed hours. took inspiration from Because after hours, Hail Mine, again, and decided to take the name Hail Mine. We hit a year and thus, less than there's too many voices! The me shine on Around the same time, why are we, are, why are we 5 AP? So to make a server that the members wait, there's too many noises. What'd you say? Back at it again, 11 months can't wait till we hit a year, but we owe me shine on my mind. Wait, we're watching Doyle. Friends uh, of Hail Mine can be a part of. Since everyone that was a part of the Discord server was originally a part of the Skype group, the community retained the general atmosphere of edginess and toxicity. Joining the server wasn't very hard to do either. If you were friends with one of the members, or played well in one of their solo queue games, it was very likely that you would receive an invite. <laughs> with new people joining the server on- <laughs> Like, he's like making this seem like, like, yo, 
Ila Santa, you play really well on my game. Would you like to join L9? You will receive an invite invite Daily to basis. this. Members within the clique felt compelled to push their offensiveness Discord, to extremes in order to not only stand out from the rest, but also show everyone else that they belonged within the group. Everything that could be said would be said. Racism, homophobia, <gasps> misogyny, and bigotry were only the tip of the iceberg. <gasps> bigotry. DDoSing was very common since everyone's IPs were mass harvested through Skype, and games being entirely erased due to drop hacking was becoming a problem that not even Riot could handle. As if hitting not off other people's internet Riot. wasn't enough, if an L9 member really disliked someone due to a poor solo queue experience, it wouldn't be uncommon that their full names and addresses would end up either in the Discord general chat or some obscure website. <laughs> okay. While all of this is already illegal, it's nothing compared to what came later. Oh. After a few months of constantly posting offensive memes, what was once considered shock content was now just mundane. Posting inappropriate content and making dark humor jokes was done so often <laughs> that it helped <laughs> Is that Yasuo? No real weight anymore. In an effort to push things even further, certain users within the server started finding and posting videos and images that could land them jail time if it would ever be leaked. The kinds of things that one would normally only ever be able to find on live. Did this one dude? Didn't this one dude try to like sue Apocalypse and the other dude, Ivan, I think his name was, and then Apocalypse changed his like name to Destroyer 62 for like two years, for like edgy stuff. Leak or the deep web started to show up more and more within the original L9 Discord server. Videos showcasing violence and gore started cropping up, but things really started to hide down after illicit imagery of minors started to be distributed among the server's users. Bruh. Once Rairal noticed how bad things were starting to get, <gasps> he completely deleted the Discord server. Rat he realized that he could no longer control the monster Save created, the... and in an effort to stop things from getting worse, he removed the medium that connected all these ill minded psychopaths with one another. Upon deletion of the server, another the player, savior. a wild daddy, a high elo e West Raven <laughs> decided to take the opportunity to create another server. A wild the now daddy! Online. His incentive? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta watch this later. A wild daddy. <laughs> Didn't that guy... Uh, he he paid the, the League Recap guy to make a video on him, no? Infamous player, a wild daddy. <laughs> Rip Ivy. Okay, do we wanna watch What is L9? The, the, the rest of What is L9 Listing documentary. All the that came with being its founder. This became the unofficial L9 server. Everyone that was a part of the original one created by Rat ended up joining this one, and most of the okay, friendships okay. among high low players. I want to continue watching this. That still exists to this day can be traced back to it. Apo Porsa Zilla and Rat Although Yamato. The server was deleted in the hopes of Who died? An end to the downward spiral that the community seemed to be going down. Some girl. Once Ivan's server, as it was called at the time, started gaining members, in peace. they picked up right where they left off. Rip in peace, guys. Hateful conduct continued to be at the fore, and with more people to view everything that was being said, people continued to push the limits of lawfulness in the hopes of attracting attention from everyone else. Criminal pictures and videos were shared nonchalantly. Criminal? Would consider abhorrent <laughs> what? Bro! What is this? Criminal pictures and videos were shared not. I literally know what this video is. This is the bro. This is literally the one. Uh, fuck! Wh what is the video? Where he says, "Why do you use the word random on your wonky games plat piece low?" This is literally the fucking video. What? This is not even league recap. I remember this like some fucking German streamer. I remember this. I I can literally see his blurred face, bro. I literally know what this video is. <laughs> And what most would consider abhorrent, L9 members viewed as normal. Illegal. <laughs> With how far things were taken, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> Somebody find it, bro. Why do you use the word random if your wonky game's flat be slow? That would have serious implications for everyone involved. Jail. That is, until everything changed. <gasps> One video altered what the, the course of history in a way that none thought possible. Infamous league players, Rat IRL. Rat IRL. Once League Recap started making videos showcasing the achievements, skills, and attitudes of these L9 members, it wasn't long before everyone knew who they were. The toxicity yep. that could be observed from them was at a level that was... <laughs> How did you find this so quick? Yes, see? <laughs> Why do you use the word random when your 1k games plot be slow? Why do you use the word random when your 1k games plot be slow? I look. I saw the fucking video was censored, and I literally. Else. I could. You could wake Quit me up in the. Me. You could wake me up. In <laughs> what the fuck, bro? In the hopes of attracting attention from everyone else. <laughs> Criminal pictures and videos were shared not. <laughs> Criminal. I swear, I could see like in the middle of the night. I would recognize the video. Can we ban Chal G three? Ayo, Martin, Moshlabella, with the Chelsea. Hello.
Rat RL Lambo is feeling good, not gonna lie, born to be a legend. Rat RL chosen one. <laughs> Rat RL Lucifer chosen you. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> look all his lungs. <clears throat> Ela Santa, holy, the mother of cringe gods. What else do you have? Ratarella, how's the new Lamborghini feels like? Ratarella, bastard, stay mad. Elephant, a trillion. <laughs> Ratarella, how is the new Lamborghini feels? You, Elephanta. Ratarella, bastard, stay mad over Elephanta. Bastard, Elephanta. Ha ha ha, fucking Elephanta. I see. <laughs> ah, you trillion, <laughs> bastard. Ila Santa box that any bitch. <laughs> Look, he's typing this unironically. Box that any bitch. He is not. <laughs> Give him mod. I think we should VIP him. How far things were taken? It was only a matter of time until screenshots. I will consider it. I will consider it. Serious implications for everyone involved. I will think that about is, it until everything changed. Mm -hmm. One video altered the course of history in a way that none thought possible. I agree. Infamous league players I agree. rap IRL. Mm -hmm. Once League Recap started making videos showcasing the achievements, skills, and attitudes of these L9 members, it wasn't long before everyone knew who they were. Do you think my narrator voice would be good? The toxicity observed from them was at a level that was never seen before. The toxicity of a, whatever, I can't don't even remember. With what permanent said. bans being considered a badge of honor, these cycle. With permanent bans. Wait, but that's not even any of them. That's was at this a level that was never seen before. With permanent. That's a French. This report feedback. This really report feedback. No. This guy's like type. This guy's typing in Georgian. Karachi, fuck this game. Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, he had no content stuff since he didn't ask a single of us. He just took random pictures and info. These psychopathic league players were on a different level than everyone else, and the community Private was eating them. Online. With this overnight rise to fame, the original L9 members were confronted with two paths they could take. <laughs> they could either continue <laughs> the down paths. this toxic path of self-destruction and venture further and further down the rabbit hole of insanity, <laughs> or they could take this fame as a way of out, insanity. Reform, and appeal to a wider audience and make something of themselves within the realm of content creation and professional play. Which one will you choose? For Rat IRL, Obsess, and Selfmade, this is where the story of L9 ends. Uh. Rat went on to create a new Discord server with a reformed image for a fresh start, and to this day, that server is still in use. He continued to pursue full time so streaming reformed. and is now one of the biggest League of Legends streamers oh. on Twitch. For Obsessed and Self Made, LEC careers were right around the corner. Obsessed became an academy player, and Self Made became a full on LEC starting jungler for teams such as Fnatic, SK, and Vitality. For Apocalypse, however, the story of Elmine was only beginning. <laughs> Only he viewed the others as fake for not continuing with the image they had set for themselves, and as a result, and who he told him to this? Own Discord server. <laughs> who he told him this? From Ivans, who wanted to continue along this dark path with him, and things quickly took a turn for the worse. Apocalypse. Illegal imagery and videos were being posted so frequently that Discord manually sent a notice to the server. <laughs> <laughs> Source: Amo Westwood. Yo, Amo Westwood told me this. It would be taken down entirely. <laughs> However, things didn't stop. Those Several people Westwood, in the community bro. were very good hackers, and finding people's information hackers. was very easy to do. Doxing and DDoSing was still prevalent, but the main form of entertainment was found in hacking random people's household technology. <laughs> On an almost nightly basis, several people would be found in voice app hacking baby monitors and speaking to children. Hacking One baby can only monitors. imagine the things that were said or encouraged. These sessions would usually end when the parents would hear the voices and walk into the room to shut it off. Wasn't it like <clears throat> this thing about the baby cams? There was like a thing where you could literally type any IP address like in the thingy and you would sometimes connect to a random camera. I don't remember what it was. I remember this shit. All you need is the IP. You still can? It's, it's not even hacking. They literally just connect to it because it's like shit security. You can literally type in the IP and connect to it. It's like garbage security. That's it.